Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The out of position promo is coming as expected. We had a loading screen dropped yesterday on FIFA 23, but what we didn't expect to find out is that all the players dropping impacts in this new promo are leaked. We know all the players that are coming into packs this weekend, and yes, it does kill the hype a little bit that it is Thursday or yesterday on Wednesday. We figured out all of these leaks and we heard them for the first time. But we have to look at them and talk about how this promo still looks really crazy and how prices are already moving on the market because of these leaks, right? If we just ignore the leaks, we are not going to be able to correctly analyze why prices are moving up and down and what the hype is all about. So we're going to look at those today, but also we're going to take a look at the market in general after yesterday's content, ones to watch upgrades, road to the knockout cards, getting upgrades this Friday, confirming those with wins or other cards losing and no longer going to be able to get upgrades for their lackluster performances in the competition. And also, Rivals is today, Marquee Matchups is today. We have to take a look at a lot of the market and prices around this game that are looking pretty interesting. So, if you're excited for this out of position promo, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look at these leagues because I don't think any of us expected this to go down like it did yesterday. Literally, a couple, about an hour after content yesterday, we had the full team of players that is going to be dropping in this out of packs promo. There's some big names in here, especially for some Premier League clubs. Salah, Cancelo, Teo, Reese James, Perisic. Those, those are those are kind of like the headliners of this promo. But not only do we have the names, we have some of the official stats of the cards in this promo as well. Take a look at this Cancelo. He's going to be a center midfield as a base position. And look at these stats. That's why this promo looks crazy, right? It's a completely new promo. It does seem like it's pretty similar to shapeshifters, but also different at the same time because of the way that the chemistry system is this year in FIFA. And this is the Cancelo card with the official stats. We might have a brand new best center midfielder in the game. That might be the most cracked out midfielder card in the game. The Reese James card is no longer a right back. He's a right wing. So they boosted uh, his shooting and they dropped his defense. That's going to be a very interesting card. I love this guy uh, as a right back in FIFA. His base gold card is still on my main team. He's so good. But that's his official card stats. We've got a Salah striker card with an insane stat boost as well. That's a really nuts looking Salah. Hopefully they upgrade some weak foot skill move maybe on a few of these cards that are in this promo as well. Um, and then there's a center back, Seiko Fofana. Like guys, these cards look really really good with these position changes they look really fun and that's why i think this promo is gonna bang and especially after a bit of a lackluster couple weeks of rule breakers as we've been saying i just think this promo is gonna hit fresh and it's gonna hit fun right that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting with the car design with the upgrades a left wing teo hernandez more of like a left mid some people might not like this because they're like man this guy's always been a left back for me if I take his left back card out of my team and use the left wing card with 65 defending, am I actually going to use this guy as an attacker with those stats? You know, that's kind of the question that we're asking with this out of position promo is how many of these guys are going to get like good out of position changes and how many of them are not going to look so good. Like this full final card looks pretty crazy. But then you look at the tail Hernandez and you're like, hmm, that doesn't look as hyped. But what also has come with these leaks are the exact position changes that these cards are going to have on their item. So Salah has got striker, center forward, left wing. Cancelo has got center mid, right wing back, CDM. Reese James can play striker. Teo Hernandez can play striker. A center attacking mid, but also right back, right mid, and right wing Perisic. These cards, with all of these different position changes, are going to be very interesting values on the market. This is going to be completely new to this year on FIFA with the new chemistry system and stuff like that. All of these guys have multiple different positions that they can play in, and they're all crazy different. They can be moved so many different places across the pitch. Look at Fred. Fred, center forward, left wing, left mid. Uh, you've got Dumfries, center back in CDM. You've got Berardi with the, you know, what used to be in the old FIFA system, you can move him from striker all the way down to center mid. Uh, like, there's some really crazy cards that are in here. One that I have to point out, Isak. It is not Isak, the striker from Newcastle. It's this guy. Isak Torre, center back for Marseille. He is six foot eight. This man is huge. 
And he is not only getting a very boosted card for this promo, he is getting a card that is going to be striker or center forward, bringing me like the Wout Weghorst vibes where you just cross it in and head it in with this guy. So, you know, that's what I think this promo has potential to bring. Some cards that are very different looking, right? Cards that you're not used to seeing in the positions that they're normally played in, right? Out of position promo. But what I also like is just the fun aspect of this, right? Never have you used Reese James at right wing before as an attacker. Well, now you have the opportunity to do so, or you've never used the six foot eight center back at striker. Well, now you have the opportunity to do so. So that's why I think this promo has some hype. That's why I think it's going to be fun. And the cards that aren't that good, like if this is the actual tail card, he might not be that expensive, right? I mean, some of these cards might be a little bit of an L with the upgrades that they get and the changes in the position that they have. But for the most part, I think there's a lot of hype here just because it is fun. Now, I draw the comparison to Shapeshifters because that's the only like position change promo that was predominantly the main part of the promo in years past. But again, this one just feels a bit different because with the way the new chemistry system is in FIFA 23, you've already seen this take place on the game already. Think about one of the most overpowered, cheaper budget cards in this game right now. Angel Correa's Inform card from a couple weeks ago in Team of the Week. He's got multiple different position changes and I think that makes this card more valuable because he has four different positions that he can play in. And I think that's gonna make these cards that drop the most meta ones more valuable and make them, you know, very good value on the market, very, you know, cards that a lot of people want to get in their team because they have just multiple different positions that you can play them in, right? Think about the player of the month, Messi. Some people don't even think about doing that card in that SBC because he can only play one position. So the fact that these guys can move around on all these different positions is really cool. So like I said too, this promo has a lot of potential, right? Let's say, you know, they could drop a really big SBC player with the position change, like a really, really hype card that would just make people go bananas, right? That sort of thing. A promo like this has great potential to just for EA to drop some really cool content. Think about all the great shapeshifter SBCs that we had last year with position changes and stuff like that. I think that's what this promo is really getting me excited for is the cards that are in packs, but also the SBC potential, the objective potential, the cards that we could get with some really interesting boosts and position changes on this game. So that's the way that I'm choosing to look at it. I'm excited for fun cards to put in my team to try out to try to pack via upgrade packs and just to mix it up and do something different. That's what I like. And I think that will get other people really excited as well. You I mean, you see that Salah, that Cancelo, like that Cancelo card looks absolutely fantastic, right? That there's going to be so many people trying to get that card in their team. And I think that's going to be really hype for a lot of people on this game. And you've already started to see some prices on the market move specifically for these guys that have been leaked. And that's what I want to kind of turn and focus on now is from the leaks that we've seen, we've seen a couple card prices drop off. Specifically, Cancelo and um, Mohamed Salah have previous special cards in the game in forms, right? Salah was about 620,000 coins yesterday. He dropped all the way down to about 570k, went back up to about 600, and I believe now he's right around like, yeah, 580, 590. So you're going to see that, right? These cards that have previous specials in the game, they're probably going to get sold off a little bit. And then, of course, the gold cards, like we just looked at for Teo and Cancelo, um, well, we looked at Teo Hernandez's gold card, but Cancelo's gold card is up like four to 5,000 coins from where he was because, of course, the gold card goes out of packs especially if it's a super valuable gold card like this Cancelo who people use in their team, Teo Hernandez, very popular, Mohamed Salah, those gold cards are going to rise in price since they won't be in packs. So that's how the leaks have impacted the market the most. I think there were some people yesterday that were trying to buy up the Frankowski um, you know, rule breakers card because that would be a nice link to the leaked Seiko Fofana. I don't think his price moved up that much. He was like discard almost. And just kidding, he has moved up. So he's about 13,000 coins for a card that was discard. So he's starting to slowly rise there. Um, so you're seeing the market respond to these leaks in that way. Uh, but I think the rest of the market as well, we, we were due some prices dropping, which is what we talked about in yesterday's video. And that's kind of what you're seeing. For most of the market, it's just slightly down. That's how I would describe it, right? Erling Holland was 100 and. Uh, 87,000 coins yesterday. Right now, Holland's card is under 180,000 coins. A lot of the gold card market is just either chilling 
or it's just down a slight bit. Rafael Varane is under 20,000 coins or it basically right at that 20,000 coin range. So you're seeing his price dip down a little bit. And that's just kind of how it feels for most of the game right now, except for some of your top tier meta cards like Neymar came back into packs yesterday. But with the PSG hype, with, with the... Um, Inform Mbappe being extinct. We'll talk about that in a second. I think that actually pushed Neymar's price up. So, you know, a couple of those high tier metas like Ronaldo stays high, Messi stays at his price, um, and this Neymar is staying there too. But a lot of the rest of the market is just kind of sliding downwards, just ever so slightly at the moment. I think that's going to continue today. As we think about what's going to happen on the market today, I do expect supply from division rivals rewards and from marquee matchups today, I think that your rule breaker cards are very interesting cards to watch today. Some people are thinking about investing in those for an out of packs investment. And I do think there's a couple of these cards that could end up doing pretty well. Um, you know, maybe a guy like Kai Havertz, who was up at 360,000 coins at one point, And I believe right now is, I mean, even below 340, the market's being really weird and slow for me right now. Um, these, these rule breaker cards have not gotten down to their lowest point yet. I think they're going to go a little lower today on Thursday. And then maybe with some panic selling in Thursday night tonight, maybe into Friday, tomorrow morning. I honestly think with how cool this promo looks, and I think a lot of people will be excited for this promo. Um, I think you will see some more panic selling tonight in Thursday night and tomorrow on Friday heading into the 6 p.m. content drop. So just be careful with these rule breaker cards. I do think there'll be a few of them that will rise up out of packs just because, you know, like this Havertz card has got a lot of hype. The Tiago card has a lot of hype. Um, the Dobinson Sanchez, honestly, uh, the Sissoko, right? I, th I do think there's some players in this team that could rise up out of packs. It's just going to be more of a timing thing um, and, and whether you buy a card uh, and try to time that lowest point and then wait a, a week or so, or maybe even three or four days before you see some of these guys rise up. Again, we said it in yesterday's video, with the team of the week that is out right now, there is a lot of gameplay demand. There's going to be a lot of weekend league demand to pack these guys in red picks and in rewards and team of the week packs, and then also trying to pack these guys from being the special card or the promo cards that are in packs. There's going to be a lot of people playing weekendly this weekend. Um, and let's talk about Team of the Week for a second while we're on the topic. Neymar, sorry, not Neymar. Neymar Team of the Week is no longer in packs. Mbappe Team of the Week and Usman Dembele are both extinct. That is not going to last for long. The last time we had extinct Team of the Week cards, their price ranges got updated pretty fast. I would expect to see Usman and Mbappe's price range is both updated today. Um, I, I saw an, an Mbappe on the market for just a second a little bit ago, but it's no longer there. I do think these prices will get updated today, but I think their prices are also going to drop big time. I don't think this Usman Dembele is worth 500,000 coins. I do not think he is going to stay there. So if you have this card, if you bought it yesterday before it was extinct, I would take the cash because as we know, inform prices always fall off very, very quickly. Once his price gets updated, people are going to start listing him at like 550, try to get out, try to get their profit, and then he's going to tank. I would not be surprised if he is under 400,000 coins here pretty soon today. Day or at least closer to 400k and Mbappe you know Mbappe is a bit of an interesting one because I think his card price could actually be a little bit too cheap um, but I, I just don't know where that's going to settle at since Mbappe's gold card is like 1.5 or rising a slight bit above that uh, I think Mbappe's inform is probably going to end up being somewhere around 3 mil but that might be during the weekend when you have you know team of the week pack supply and stuff so but specifically with the Usman inform I would not be holding on to that card for very much longer because I do believe that it's going to drop in price today. And again, like I said, you know, at the moment, I'm really not invested in anything for rivals rewards today. I just think that if there's going to be a market rise, it's going to be a slight one. And to me, you know, it's, I don't know if it's going to be worth it with the hype of the promo that we have upcoming. Maybe you look at some out of pack special cards that are maybe a tiny bit low or, or something like that. That's kind of the way that you look at the market today. Maybe you find a guy like Gold Marquinhos who is around 30,000 coins. Maybe a guy like this can go up five to 7,000 coins today. Like not this card specifically, but maybe a higher rated gold card, right? I mean, you know, some of these golds dropped off a little bit yesterday, but the market's been pretty high in general. So if I'm going to be trying to trade with the card today, it's probably going to be a pretty popular gold card for a slight rise, a small rise after Rivals Rewards today on this game. Now, let's talk about the fodder 
piece of the market because I think this weekend fodder is going to be a tremendous buy once again because I think we're going to have either a hero SBC or an icon SBC again coming this next week. 84s are still up. They're about 3.8K. 85s are down. 86s are down. If you take a look at the indexes, you can see that 86s and 85s have been dropping off a lot since we had a little bit of supply yesterday with a uh, small prime gold players pack tradable from the FGS Challenge 3. There was a little bit of pack supply yesterday. No UEFA marquee matchups, which again is a little confusing. I guess EA just wanted the market to stay high. They didn't want to drop any prices in the midweek. I guess they wanted to wait till the end of the week to do that. Uh, but watch fodder because again, you, you remember 8K for some of these guys and what they were, of course, earlier this week, they were 10K, 11K, 12,000 coins and 8k was kind of our buy price on the weekend um, i think that we are getting towards a time frame where whether it's today on thursday or tomorrow friday or on saturday in the next two to three days be very watchful on sbc fodder um, i think that there are people that are going to save packs for this promo on friday and that might mean that fodder could get really low in the first couple of hours uh, if we don't get a really big sbc player on friday i would keep watch on fodder because it's going to be a very big time buy in the near future it might go up a little bit today as some people who maybe have not completed the hero sbc um, because i believe the hero sbc is still available until content today on thursday do you say you might see a slight fodder rise if you see that i would see that as a great opportunity to cash out on some of those cards on the market now if you're trying to trade and make coins i like the rare stuff i like the rule breakers i like icons i like heroes i flipped a valverde yesterday from 630 to 690 um i tried out van percy he was terrible for in my opinion uh i liked havertz way better but i bought him for like 580 sold for 620 bought a cafu at 900 sold for 987 so it's just been a bunch of smaller flips for me uh on this game and on this market now also i want to take a look at ones to watch cards because i purchased an otw to try to quick flip earlier this evening and his card is prices back up a little bit there was a lot of movements with road to the knockouts and with um ones to watch cards yesterday as these guys got their upgrades a lot of these card prices expected how or acted how i thought they would there was a drop off after they got the upgrade and then some of them have bounced back a little bit, right? The only card that had a big spike was Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez went from 480K um, up to like 540 for a split second and then dropped all the way down to 440. He's now back up at 470K. Rudiger went from like 500K down to 460. He rebounded back up. Uh, a fair bit. Chow many ended up dropping about 10,000 coins. He's kind of hovering at a price there. So these ones to watch cards, you know, I would expect a little bit more fluctuation on them today. And also road to the knockouts are moving like crazy. Now I want to show you guys something because I know a lot of people are looking at this Rafinha card right now. And the, the reason I think Rafinha has rebounded back up in price, this one to me... <laughs> doesn't really make sense, right? Rafinha and Barcelona are going to the Europa League. They're not getting out. Uh, they did not win. So this card is literally not getting any upgrades. It is impossible for Rafinha to get any upgrades uh, at all. He's going to stay an 86 rated card. Barcelona are not going to be able to win one more game and, and get, you know, the... Uh, the ability to get even a plus one on this card, they're not going to advance, right? They're basically out. So they are out. So this card is just like a special card on the game. I think the reason this card bounced up from 190,000 coins yesterday to 212 where it is now is purely because Usman Dembele is extinct for one on the market. And, uh, you know, oftentimes cards just do this a little bit. Take a look at Valverde, what happened yesterday, right? Valverde last night when I was recording the YouTube video was about 700,000 coins, right? He was about 700k he rebounded to 750 and then dropped down really low before content this is where i bought valverde at 630 and then sold him at seven at 690 right before content he went back down to 650 and is now back up to about 680. i think a similar trend with rafinha is going to happen today i think rafinha who's gone back up is going to go back down even further this morning on Thursday as people see the Usman Dembele on the market and stuff like that happening I think his price is going to drop back down again be very very careful with the guys that are getting upgraded right uh Aubameyang is getting upgraded Konate is going to get a plus one if you go to I believe it's on Foot Sheriff's Twitter he's got a nice little tracker or a uh, criminal Sahil on, on uh 
Twitter has got a nice tracker here, and it shows that Messi has clinched the plus one upgrade because they've qualified, right? But it's all about the wins. So Bayern beat uh, Barca yesterday, so Thomas Muller is going to get a plus two by the end of this thing. But the, the upgrades that come on tomorrow, Friday, are only the upgrades that are for the wins. So Thomas Muller is going to get a plus one. Konate is going to get a plus one. Zambo and Grisa is going to get a plus two for the wins upgrade, right? They won two games. Um, I think, unless I missed one, yeah, Aubameyang, Konate, and Zambo are going to be the only ones that get upgraded for the wins from the Champions League cards. But then today on Thursday, you've got Wambasaka, Paqueta, Terrier, Ikone, and I think Gerard Moreno all have potential to upgrade tomorrow on Friday if they win. So it's all about the wins uh, to get the upgrade this week. So keep a close eye on those cards because what happens after every single game these guys play they basically go down in price. I mean, look at Thomas Lamar. Crazy ending yesterday to the Atletico game, and he is down big time there. So keep a close watch on these cards. The more rare ones, like the Valverde from yesterday, like the Rafinha for today, there could be some panic selling on those and potential to make some coins. So right now on the market, it just real, it just kind of feels like an uncertain time. We've got a promo upcoming that looks pretty hype, that looks pretty crazy, um, and that a lot of people might want to try, right? Again, the whole point is like, these cards look fun to try. So I would just be very careful with holding cards right now in this game. And with people seeing the loading screen, the card design, and how this promo looks, I think that people are going to save their packs from division rivals, save their packs from marquee matchups, and start stocking and stacking up some 75-plus player picks for the promo on Friday, which by the way, if you want to stack any of these up, they go away today. I think people are going to start doing that. And I think that is going to mean some prices may drop in the next couple of days on this game as the hype builds and supply is going to come in on Friday when people open those saved up packs, the tradable ones, uh, at least for the new promo card. So we'll get more information hopefully today on Thursday about what's going to go on with this upcoming promo. And we'll see what could happen on a crazy promo Friday. Again, we did look at a lot of the leaks. And again, I, I know the leaks ruined some of the hype for a lot of you guys. They kind of ruined it for me too. I'll be completely honest. It would The surprise factor would be so nice to have. But since we don't have that that often these days, um, it is nice to have a little bit of a heads up to know why the market is moving. And also to know like kind of what to watch out for with other cards in the market to potentially make some coins and how this promo is looking in general with those leaks. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the food account and i'll catch you guys later peace out